So today we're gonna have a look at the double four from Phil Jones Bass. Now it's got two four inch drivers inside of a really lightweight enclosure, three band EQ, and essentially all the same things that the Phil Jones X4 has, except it's got two speakers. Today's backline includes the Telefunken TDP-1, the Townsend Labs Sphere microphone, and two sets of GHS strings, the Pressure Wounds and Bass Boomers. You can find links to all this stuff in the description, but if you've seen any of my videos before, you probably know there's just one thing that I really care about. That is. Whatever. What would it sound like? <laughs> Now, first of all, who doesn't love that unmistakable honk that you get when you're playing a P bass? And, <laughs> and using the three band EQ, I was able to beef up the low end and carve out a little bit of presence in the mids because I was also using some pressure wound strings from GHS and I used those to cut down on the sound of the finger slides. So that way, as I increase the volume in the mid range, we're not necessarily killing you with top end. I don't know. Check it out and tell me what you think in the comments. Woke up on the right side of the bed. Turn up, got the music in my head. Open the front door to see. Uh, they all groove into this beat. Just keep dancing all the time. So for this one, I wanted to do the exact opposite. Instead of going for that pointy, defined mid-range, let's scoop it all out and play a deep pocket tone. Now, this was actually a cover song that I played with live looping, and I built it layer by layer right there in front of everyone, except I didn't step on any pedals, and actually, I didn't even use pedals. Not even a loop. You're also about to find out why they never give me a microphone. You have one of the worst voices I've ever heard. Truthfully. So I'm obviously going for that like McCartney-esque tone. Plunking on the plunker like that, you know. And I don't know, or I don't think that the Beatles often mic'd up bass cabinets, but that's okay. We're going to because it's definitely helping me get closer to that old school vibe for this song. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of tape saturation on there, pull in the rest of the band, see what it sounds like. And it just might be. Call. 
That's what the Phil Jones Double Four sounds like. And if you want to get one for yourself, please just click on any of those links in the description. And also, if you want to check out the complete performances for every song you've heard today with dry bass, wet bass, completely isolated on their own, then come join the Skeleton Crew here at the Deadbeat YouTube channel. There's tons of awesome perks. And speaking of which, thank you to these wonderful names right over here. Y'all are the best. You know it. I know you know. Thanks again for watching. Stay well. See you next time. On the right side of the bed. Turn up, got the music in my head. Open the front door to see. Uh, they all groove into this beat. Just keep dancing all the time. Mem